Hey guys, um, I'm going to try, hopefully this will work, and I've just set up Backtrack to run as, just like you've turned on your computer and you've got a CD in there for Backtrack. So I'm going to hack, this is going to be hacking into Windows 7. So just wait for this to load up, and it should be pretty... I don't know. Just hurry up. Uh, just for it to full screen. Do -do -do. I don't know if I've actually set a password for um, my Windows 7 installation yet. So after I've done this, we'll soon find out. Just let me move a chair a minute. Right. Yeah, I'm I'm using a new mic because someone chopped my microphone wire, and I'm kind of pissed about that. So yeah, it just arrived today, and this is the first video I'm doing, and I'm just checking it out. Just wish this would hurry up. You know what, I'm going to come back um, after it's loaded and then we'll carry on from there. Okay? Ah, it's the gnome I loaded up on this. Right, where's the mouse? There you go. I'm just going to pause this in a minute. Oh yeah, um, <coughs> I'm back again. Um, yeah, Backtrack's loaded up. Um, all I've done, I've loaded Backtrack GNOME. Um, easy way to mount is just click on places and then mount the file system, which it is. So like, you just mount the hard drive with the Windows um, installation on. And then you do, uh, you type in CD, um, forward slash media. And then it goes into the media folder, and then you type ls, and this little number here, you want to copy that, and then type in cd forward slash media, and then paste that in by there, for another forward slash, and now you are in the hard drive. Now what this is going to do, you can just type ls and find all the files. What we're going to do is rename utility manager to, let me check the time a minute, I got yeah, that's fine. I got enough time. Um, we're gonna this right. When you start at Windows, um, you have a file called Utilman, right before you log in. And if you press the Windows key and U, it brings up Utility Manager, which basically Utility Manager is like um, all the oh, hearing problems, um, accessible, well basically the accessibility, so like you can't see things properly or you can't hear things properly, so there's a narrator and stuff like that. What we're going to do is name that to uh, something else and then take CMD and then put that in its place. So then when you start up you press the Windows key and U, it'll bring up this command box and then you can change the password for the net user. People think this is hacking, well it is but it isn't. It depends what you use it for. If you forgot your Windows password and you do it to recover your Windows password, then that is completely fine. But if you do it for malicious activity, then obviously people will see it as hacking. So basically all you do, you go into the media folder and then you have that big number and then you type in the same or just press up and then do another forward slash and then type in Windows. Oh, if I can spell it right, sorry. Then you press up again and then type in System 32. Oh, sorry. Um, you can just press LS if you want to look at the folders. Right now, you're in Windows 60, uh, System 32. You want to, I think this is a code. You want to type in MV um, utilman.exe to utilman.old. Will it work? Hopefully, it did. And now you press CP. I think that stands for copy. Um, cmd.exe to 
utilman.exe. Now that should type in ls. And it might take a while because there's a load of files there. You know, I'll just quit that. Um, I'm going to reboot this and I'm going to win uh, load Windows 7 up. And once it's loaded up, I'll uh, obviously put the video back onto record. So I'm just going to type in reboot and I just got to quickly unmount. Oh. Uh, unmount that and I'll just force a restart there you go so hopefully now Ubuntu is not on there uh, Backtrack isn't on there, sorry you don't have to do this with Backtrack um, start Windows normally uh, this is the part that does my in because it takes a while for some reason um, Right, um, I'm going to pause the video until it starts loading up. Uh, see you in a minute. It actually started loading up just after I paused the video, so here you go. Don't be slow again. Come on. Yeah, this is a really easy way to get into it. Like, people say OPH crack and stuff like that, I'll do it. But that's only good for getting the hash files, and then you have to crack them with like some program like hash cat or something. And to me, this is such an easier way when you can just change the admin password and just get into it that way. Um, please wait. Have I got a password on you? No, I have not got a password on you. So um, what I'm gonna do is oh, I was doing something with Call of Duty on you. Um, I'm going to go into control panel I'm going to go down to where is it? user accounts and I'm going to put a password on the admin account or yeah I am the ad admin if I ch create a password for my account I am going to put YouTube no password uh, P A S S W O R D. Right, and in the password hint, I'll just put, put password, create a password, and it's got a password. So obviously, the, if you forgot your password, then you won't be able to get in. Obviously, it's common sense, really. So. You won't have to do that, but if you want to do it to try it, you, you're welcome. But like, if you already got a password on your computer, which you should have, then you won't need to do it, will you? So it's just logging off a minute. Oh, it's restarted. Um, we'll just have to wait for this to load back up. Um, I'll. It did shut down correctly. You don't know what you're talking about. I hate Windows. Right, when it starts up, I'm going to press the Windows key and U for... Uh, you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm doing that little inverted commas, Utility Manager. That'll be coming up. And then CMD should come up. Um, if it doesn't, and my start menu comes up, um, i got to find out what the button is, because it might be the host button which is the right control. It might be that button and you, so I don't know. So we'll find out now. Yeah, if you want to request anything with Backtrack, um, I'm not that experienced with it, but right, here we go. I'm not that experienced with it, but um, if you hit me a comment or something, I will try my best and make a tutorial on it because you two have been playing up and I haven't been able to upload some videos but I am trying to so if you've got any requests just hit me up right I think it's if you click on ease of access there you go you don't have to press the Windows key and U um, right you can yeah, yeah yeah there you go I just press the Windows key and U and utilman.exe but it's a command shell hmm how weird um, if you type in explorer.exe 
then is setting up personalized settings. You're going to be the net, um, a network user or cold system. It's just setting yourself a profile, and in a second, um, it should, run full screen, it should come up with a little explorer bar. But if you can't get into the computer that way, I am just going to show you how to get it. Oh, phone. Sorry about this, I got a message. Right, um, if I press the Windows key, will it come up? Right. I'm just going to type in net user. Press enter. Uh, it's doing my head in. I'm Welsh, by the way. So, yeah. Like, I had somebody messaging me saying, like, finally. Ah, there you go. Uh, another Welsh person. But yeah, look. You, you got the little explorer bar. Isn't that cool? By typing one little command in there, you've got um, everything. You can go online. But obviously, it's running slow. So look, you are the system. So you have access to everything, but what we want is just this. Oh, bugger off, Internet Explorer! I hate when Internet Explorer get away. Right, basically, um, net user. Type in administrator, and then type a star. The star means to set a password, and it says type a password for the user. So I'm going to type in QWERTY. Right, don't. Um, fret about this because um, I was typing and you couldn't see it. It is uh, purely just for security reasons. If somebody's behind you uh, watching what you're doing, they won't see the asterisks to know how long it is, or they will not see the characters at all. So that's good. Um, and if you want to change it for a user, you just type in Kevlar, which is um, my user, and then star, and then it says type a password for the user. I'll type in um create again and the command completed successfully for both of them so you can just type exit to go out of that and then if you type in p a s s w o o r d oh oh no the username and password is incorrect q w e r t y welcome Right guys, you just successfully hacked into a Windows machine. Um, if you've got any questions about this, because it is that easy, see? Look, everything's as I left it out. Um, y yeah, it's that easy. You might not think it, but it, it really is. So I'm going to end this video. Unexpected shutdown. I did not have a blue screen, didn't it? Did you see a blue screen come up, YouTube? Did you really? Because I think I know what it is. I think it's a it's a LAN driver. Got to install the drivers for it. Um, yeah, I'm going to use in this for tutorials anyway. So if you got any requests, just hit me up. Um, and that's it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it. So yeah, this is do to how. Peace out.